Hey, welcome back to Tuesday Afternoon. everybody, it's Tuesday, and welcome back, and today we're making DJ Music Man. I'm going to be using Original Sculpty to make this sculpture. Shape your aluminum foil and then cover it in Original Sculpty. We're then going to use glass gems for the eyes. We're just going to place the eyes on and make sure that the overall shape of the head is good. And then we're going to make an outline for the mouth. Once you're happy with that, cut it out. Right now, we're just pretty much working on the overall shape of the head and getting the foundation ready for the more detailed elements of DJ Music Man. Here I'm cutting out the rectangular shape that makes up his jaw. I'm adding a little bit of extra clay and giving it a rounded edge so I can smooth it out onto the face. I'm going to make sure it has kind of a rectangular look, but it also gradually moves into the jawline. Next, we're going to be making the lips. This is what goes around the edge of the mouth and slightly sticks out. We're going to paint this pink later. And when I'm working on this section, I'm trying to be very careful not to damage that crisp edge. I think that's what I found so neat about DJ Music Man. All those little geometric shapes and those clean edges. He looked very robotic and almost lifelike, and that made him very eerie and very creepy. Here I'm attaching the nose, and it was very simple and very rewarding because it took little to no time to make it. Here, I just rolled out some clay and I cut out his eyebrows with an X-Acto knife. His cheeks are just round pieces of clay pushed into his face. Next, we're going to be making his hat and I just used a lid of a water bottle to make the shape. I actually had little templates, but this actually matched closer, so use whatever is appropriate for you. I'm also going to just roll out some clay to make the little strip around his hat and I'm using this tool to smooth it out. Sometimes when you cut clay you'll get a little bit of excess clay so it's always good to clean that up. If you forget to do that you can always sand it later. I'm just measuring out the length of his teeth and I'm actually going to make a template so I can take the number of teeth and put it out onto a little piece of paper and make sure I have the spacing correct. Here I'm just marking in where the individual teeth are. I actually used a needle tool to draw in the top teeth and that's all just that easy. Here I'm making his earphones and I'm actually going to assemble them after I bake them in the oven. Okay, now the head is basically done. Next we're going to make the body and I'm going to add a counterweight. I'm just going to use some glass gems wrapped in aluminum foil because the head is really heavy and even though the body is very large, it isn't as heavy as the head. So I'm going to add a little bit of weight. We're going to put this towards the back end of the body. Now we're going to wrap it in the correct amount of aluminum foil and then we're going to put original sculpty over that. Here I'm marking where each leg is going to be. We're going to do that on both sides and then we're going to make the speaker in the top. To get the texture of a speaker I'm just going to take a piece of material and push it onto the surface of the clay. Here I'm making the knobs for the back of the body and I'm going to just push in the end of a tool and make those little indentions. Next, I'm rolling out a piece of clay and I'm going to wrap that around each individual place where the limb is going to go into. Next, after that, we're going to roll out some balls and we're going to push those into where each limb will be. Now you really don't have to add this because the limb actually has a lip that comes over it and you can barely see it. So if you don't want to, you don't have to add that. Here I'm making the speakers on the bottom side of the body. These are really easy to make. 
If you like my content, please like and subscribe. I'm always appreciative of the comments and I do read them all. I've just had so many lately that I can't respond to everybody, but I do try to answer questions. And if you have a particular character you'd like me to make, let me know below. I do keep it in my notebook and I check them off as I make them. So I want to thank everybody and it's meant so much to me to hear all your comments, even little disagreements. It's just nice to have a community of people that appreciate a character so much and want to make them for themselves. All right, we got the speakers done. I would say the most important part of the body is the shape and the size. So as long as you got that right, I think the rest of it is pretty easy. Here I'm making the individual hands. It actually has four fingers and we're just going to pull the fingers out from the clay. It's a pretty simple shape. Just make sure you have the hands looking realistic. Just pay attention to the sides of the hand and also the thumb area. His hand slides slightly up so make sure towards the wrist it does have a slope upward and then I'm going to roll out a piece of clay for the cuff. Make sure I add the little detail of the rolling joint. So I'm gonna add that in and then I'm gonna put a hole in it for the wiring to go into. I'm gonna smooth all this out afterwards and you're gonna have to make six individual hands. One hand I made shaped so it fits around his earphone. I wanted to show you the difference between the gauge from the wire I'm going to use and the wire I usually use. See how much more pliable the wire I usually use is? Five of his legs are going to be that stronger gauge wire and the front leg that I will use to pose and so his hand can hold his earphone is going to be a lesser gauge wire. When working with wire, please always wear eye protection. Next, we're gonna be making the segments of the legs and I'm gonna be using Ultra Light Sculpty. Now, this is very different than Original Sculpty. So what we're going to do is we're going to just gently push it in keeping it cradled in our hands when we're pushing it through the wire. This will also help for you to feel the wire going through the clay and make sure it doesn't push through. Then what I'm gonna do is just roll it out with the wire still in it so I can keep that cavernous area. I'm gonna make some balls for the joint. Then when you're done with all the segments, bake it in the oven. Next, we're going to assemble. I'm using Ultralight Sculpty because it's very bendable and it will not crack if the leg gets a little bit of pressure so it's perfect and I can feed it through onto the body after it's been baked here I'm just making sure it fits together and I'm going to cut off any extra parts of the sculpty next here I'm going to make the little end caps for the clay of the leg and I'm just going to be using duct tape. I want to be able to pose him and this is the best way to do it because if you put clay on the ends it's going to limit his movement. Here I'm going to just paint it on. Please don't forget to actually glue the ends of that duct tape. Up. After the black paint dries I'm going to put three layers of silver paint on. I wanted to have that metallic look but I also wanted it to have a very dark edging to it. I'm painting the body and I'm actually adding on a layer of chalk pastel that I've shaved off and I'm just blushing it on. I want it to have scuffed like appearance so I'm just going to add it on and then I'm going to take an eraser and erase areas. I want it to have kind of an, a scrappy look to it like it's been banged up against the size of the tunnels. Once we're done painting we're going to assemble him. I'm just going to use hot glue. Make sure that you had enough wire on each limb so it can go far enough down into the torso. I'm going to use polyurethane and do a coat over his paint job because I noticed he was very shiny in the game so I want to recreate that look. I'm going to do three layers like I usually do and I'm also going to do it over his limbs except for his hands. Now I'm going to do the detail work on his hands and I just did a little bit of black along the cuff line and then I'm going to take black paint and I'm going to dry brush it on. I want to have this very dirty look to it. So there you go. Exciting, we're almost done. Next, we're going to be painting his face, and I'm just going to use 
a processed magenta acrylic paint and I'm using this because I want it to be my base paint. Then I'm going to put pink over that. This way I won't have to do a lot of layers and I'll just have the magenta and the pink on top. Next we're going to do the blue and I didn't have this color in my collection so I'm just going to mix that. I'm going to do light blue and dark blue mixed together and I think this is pretty close to the original color and it's very vivid. It looks perfect. The bar for his headphones are red and I'm going to use parakeet green for the headphones. I wanted to make sure I added out the kind of scratched part under the eyes. I think that's one of my favorite details of DJ Music Man. So I tried to recreate that. So he's basically done now. I'm just going to add in some of the pastel work and the blue line that is on his chin. You just want to put his head on like you put his limbs on. It's really up to you if you want to be accurate to the game. I went ahead and did that and I'm going to use a wire that is more flexible. Now you might want to use a stiffer wire. It just kind of depends on the weight of your DJ's head. So there you go. He's all done. What do you think? Please let me know what you think below and let me know what you want me to make next. I heard a lot of people wanting me to make Roxanne or Monty. I was going to make the Vent Music Man, but I'm not sure now. So please let me know below. I really do want to make all of the characters. It's just going to be what order I'm going to make them in. And I want to make them by demand so that people who actually want to make a particular character can follow along and get tips from me while they're making their own. So let me know. Like and subscribe if you like my content. And I always appreciate the comments and the discussion. It means a lot. And I hope you all have a very wonderful day. And I appreciate you so much. Bye!